Look at how big the arena is, the competition square compared to the size of the roosters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yep. Versus, like, imagine Bouchesha and Hadolfo yep, in there, yep. right? It's real small, that not, square. Not the same thing, <laughs> right? If you can put these little guys in one of the little squares, yep. it would be the same proportionally, proportionally right? as Bouchesha and Hadolfo in a big square. You might say it's unfair <laughs> for the ultra heavyweights. It's not, it's not unfair. It's that, no, I know what you mean. It's yeah. just different. Yeah, it's totally different. No, someone's going to bite yeah. on that, rip me apart. Yeah. No, it's, I, I, no, I understand what you're saying. Clever comes up and gets two, but now is back down. So he's right now in Ashigarami or single leg X, whatever you want to call it. Clever has a record of 37 wins with 19 submissions. Ah, so a little over, a little over, a little over 50 percent. Tiago trying to feed that lapel. He's one of the few guys that has a win over Mikey Musumeci. Wow. I remember it was at Pans, I think, two years ago. And of course, Musumeci got a win over him at the Worlds. So I yeah. think they're one and one. Yeah. Clever's tough. I trained at them once. Nice off balance, using that lapel. But clever right back up. Look at this reaching for that pan grip. We got double pan grips and yeah. that's it. The yeah. second you get both grips on the yeah. pants, give him a little bump. Down they go. Clever in with the lapel here, like a reverse de la worm. You gotta shin to shin that knee out of there, huh? Well, he's lost his foot position now, so it's different. Yeah, he's got the foot between the legs now, right? Yeah, different now. Still good, he can stand up. He, uh, he's feeding the foot back. Yep. And Hiago takes a seat. Yep, kind of might be a wise decision. Yeah, understanding, he yep. took the lesser of two evils. Yep. You're gonna give up the two and or avoid getting mounted or get your back yeah, taken. Yeah, exactly, or worse. It's good insight, you know, yep. and that, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that's the experience, right? If yep. you have never been in this position before, you would have no idea yep. what was coming and you might continue fighting as, like, as normal, and then all of a sudden you find yourself getting warmed up yeah. and mounted. Yep. So he had enough experience to have the foresight to understand that two points is better to give. Uh, he evens it right back up now. Clever scoops the leg. Man, Clever's got them all tied up, He huh? does, yeah. He does. He's got the lapel fed around. All the way to his other hand on the other side, yeah. He scooped up that leg. It, it, it Arguably, that lapel's of what's holding him on the bottom yeah, right now, his own grip. He's, he's stuck. Yeah, he's, he's stuck sort of. His, his own spider web. Yeah, he is. He's trying to get to the top, which he does. There he goes. He's got scores two. Easy for the referee to pull the roosters back to oh the yeah. table. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> if that was Max Jimenez, <laughs> probably not. A good, this is a good technical battle we have here. 
So I really like what uh, Hiago has right here, right? It's, it's kind of like single leg X. I mean, he has the foot over the shoulder as opposed to in the armpit, but mm -hmm. he fed the lapel over the ankle to keep that single Keeps leg. Keeps it there. It's so pretty the, smart. The top guy, he like, see how clever he wants to peel yep. that foot off yep. his hip, but he can't. He, he can't peel it and back step right. out of it. He's, exactly. he's got his foot I, stuck in there. I try to do this all the time. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good thing. You know, and you don't, you kind of, you can relax your leg a little bit. So yeah. like if you have single leg X, you got to constantly squeeze your yeah. thighs and keep yeah. the pressure. But when you feed the lapel over like that, you secure the position and you don't have to burn yourself out. Well, it's clever going for a toe hold. Got an advantage for it. Tied up the advantages now. And he leads six to four. But Hiago still in a great sweeping position. At any moment, Hiago can grab Kleber's free foot with his left hand and bump him to his butt. Yeah, oh, a nice little modified tripod sweep, the cross tripod. Those basics are always there, man. Oh man, yeah. The basics are always there. Yeah. I always said the hip bump sweep is like the most underutilized yeah, sweep in jiu-jitsu. So, so good. Such a great sweep. And that's like that's uh, Hudson's kind of go-to, right? Yep. Again, look at See, Clever has that cross grip on the pants, pinning it down. It's very difficult to recover the guard when they get that cross grip on the pants. Like he's going to force him to turtle, force him to leg drag. He's going to keep trying to run around him. I think what he needs to do is let go of the sleeve and grab the collar. Yeah, he couldn't get there. Yep. Okay. That would have been better for him to have that collar. I think you're, I agree with you, Josh. Three minutes left. Clever leads by two. See if Thiago can come up now and even this out. He certainly looks like he certainly could if he tipped back the other way. Could. How cool would it be if you could change your weight by turning a dial, no right? Way. Like not just your side, but like you keep your same proportion, right? But imagine I could shrink myself down into a rooster, you know, but keep like all my proportions exactly right. the same. Right, right. And then, you know, maybe I want to fight Bouchesha, <laughs> you know, and I can turn the dial and like, and like my proportions just blow up and I turn <laughs> into ultra heavy. That'd be a very useful tool. That'd be so I somehow think it might be uh, well, abused. It would be, well, yeah, but everyone could abuse it Everyone can do right? yeah. So it's not really, a, it's not unfair <laughs> if we could all do it. And yeah. then like imagine. It's like an Ant-Man suit, basically. The, the brackets would be so interesting, right? Like. If yeah. any m any tournament anyone can go to any division <laughs> of course you'll see people running away from each other you know not avoiding each other and then you yeah. see it would be so interesting <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be an interesting social experiment a jiu-jitsu competition social experiment there's the off balance yeah like a little ant-man suit right i mean you could go yeah, up right, or down right One forty. Hiago in the blue, down by two, but but he's on the bottom. Yeah, but he's in a good exactly. He's in a good position to at least even it up. Right. So what he'll probably try to do is kill some time. That's <laughs> wait, it. That's wait, wait for the last twenty seconds. That's the standard 50-50 <laughs> protocol. Yep. 50-50 strategy. Yeah, if you looked it up, that'd be it. That'd be protocol. Maybe attack a foot to get an advantage in the meantime, and then. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because if he ties it up, it's still tied. Yeah. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> if it's tied up, it's still tied. <laughs> Tiago trying to spin underneath. Clever, force a roll. And again, at this weight, they're so strong for the. Yeah, there he oh, goes. They're amazing. So strong. strong for their weight that that's what can happen. I mean, if you if you move up to middle heavy or heavy, then that's probably not going to happen like that. Right. But, but they're so strong for their weight here that literally Clever was all on one side and still got thrown violently over to the right. opposite side. He's got 25 seconds to make something happen. 
And he rolls. Yeah, he, he could get it that right back here, potentially. Is he going down on the foot? Is he going for the foot? He's going to come up for a sweep. He's trying to get the two. Yep. And as he, long as he's in a submission, that's he's right. not going to get two points. That's so right. As Thiago's cranking on that foot, he's attacking the submission. And Kleber's trying to pretend that it's not that's a That's right. And so <laughs> they're probably bo are they both going to get an advantage, or they're not going to say that that footlock was a good enough? Oh, they're waving it off. Oh. Oh, wait up. They wave oh, off. Oh, they're waving off all both of, of them. Yep. All of it. So. They waved it off, so it's, it, we're saying tie score. Still tie. Ref decision. Yeah, that was really smart for, for Hiago to go after the foot, because otherwise it would have been two for Clever. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah very. Yeah. Had no, he did a great good job. Good intelligence there. there. And it goes to Clever. Clever, yeah. They'll take it anyway. And in this case, they gave they gave nothing, nothing to either nothing. one of them. And with Patrick and Keenan, they, they gave, gave Patrick a, they an gave, advantage. They gave Patrick an advantage, and they didn't give Keenan anything. Right. So 